That's all, folks. Remember that? Famous words from Porky the Pig. Good morning, everyone. It's Henry of Bidwell. Today's memory verse is succinct and memorable. It's Philippians 1, verse 21. Inspired words by the Apostle Paul. To live is Christ and to die is gain. Really? To die is gain? Did you hear that? I've been pastoring for 20 years, and it's my humble observation and caring for people that we do everything we possibly can in most circumstances to prolong life. And it makes me wonder, do we really believe we benefit from our death? I myself do what I can to care for mind, to care for my body, to take measures to keep healthy. It's only natural. And here in this passage, Paul himself, the apostle, is genuinely struggling with what's better, to live with Christ in this life or the next. He emphatically concludes the latter. And I want to point something out. His interest in staying alive is not to enjoy life's pleasures. His desire to stay alive is captured in this phrase. He says, I am torn between the two. I desire to depart and be with Christ, which is better by far, but it is more necessary for you that I remain in the body. So what he's saying is that it is his service to others that merits any need or desire to stay alive. Think about that for a moment. Why live? Now, I think for many of us, our kids or family, our desire we have to prolong life. And for many, among more altruistic lines, to make the world a better place. We want to make a contribution. But are there other reasons? And if so, should we examine them? According to Paul, life is more than a golden lab in a white picket fence. (laughs) The late Tim Keller, who died two months ago, a beloved pastor and scholar, once said this, All death can do to Christians is make their life infinitely better. I want to encourage you to think about these words from Paul and from Porky. Porky the pig said, that's all folks. In fact, the man who did that voice, Mel Blanc, had that exact phrase put on his tombstone. (laughs) Funny as it is, it makes me wonder if he thought that was all, that's it. This life has the final word. Not according to Paul. To die is gain. Let me encourage you today that your circumstances in life do not have the final word. Paul understood that all death can do to Christians is make their life infinitely better. Believe it. Live your life accordingly and reflect the character of this kingdom. It's joy, it's peace, it's righteousness, it's love. Have a great week.